Welcome to Sunday Bully Live, guys. What is going on? Listen, before I even start, I want to send a special shout out to my guy, Kyle. He made it happen. We got our beanies in. We got our new hats in. I mean, nothing but love. All the hats now are going to be black. Uh, we're not going to have the different colors like, like you see back here uh, anymore. Uh, so for those of you that are interested, uh, we are going to be spinning the wheel. Sorry, Kyle, I know I told you to remind me, but we are going to be spinning the wheel today. For those of you that want a hat, um, that's that's how you're going to be able to get it. It's going to have to be uh, through wheel spins. Uh, real quick, man, let me get on topic. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, Bully Breeds. Thank you much. Thank you much. Uh, Steve-O, have that new member. Uh, special shout out to uh, Salty Right Boy. That's it, man. We do this every Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, I want to thank you for becoming a member. You're able to ask questions. We're going to answer them before we're done today, man. Uh, we got Ghost Ghost Dog Kennels in the house. Thoroughbred. I say a Feliciano. Here we go. Uh, RGB Kennel. We got TJ Tactical. We got uh, I Want a Hat. Buckaroo Bullies, North Carolina. All right, TJ Tactical. What's up, Raul, brother? Hope all is well. Uh, thank you, man. Um... So guys, today's topic is bully breeds. Like, what are they, man? Because I hear, I hear it all the time, man. People are always saying, "Hey, you know, bully breeds, bully breeds, bully breeds," and I always get hit up by, uh, you know, people asking me, you know, what is a bully breed? Uh, are they all related to bullies? Um, that sort of thing. So I decided, you know what? Let's talk about bully breeds. Let's give you guys an idea of what type of dog breeds are within the bully breed. And let's give you some quick facts on them. So guys, right now, I'm gonna go into topic. As soon as we're done, then we're gonna go straight into questions, all right? So, um, or actually better yet, I might, I might open it up for questions. So what I do wanna do is share this screen that I currently have uh with you guys kyle i gotta push you back so i can share the screen man there you go so this particular breed guys uh let me know what 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 particular breed you think this is um this particular breed right here uh makes up part of bully breeds in fact it's one of the more popular dogs in the bully breed um and this particular breed is none other than the American Pitbull Terrier, or better yet, better yet, this is the, yeah, American Pitbull Terrier. And it says, uh, at a height of around 21 inches at Withers, the American Pitbull Terrier has a sturdy frame. Weights range from 40 to 60 pounds, although a properly bred animal shouldn't be so heavy that it affects its walk. It's a dreadful fact, but dog fighting and bull baiting, too popular blood sport in the 1800 cast a shadow over the early years of the American Pitbull Terrier. Even if they don't have the best reputation nowadays, many still love them dearly as pets. So for the, those of you that didn't know, now you know that the pit bull definitely uh, does make up part of the bully breed. Um, and even though they were used, um, you know, for bull baiting, which bull baiting is nothing more, guys, than back in the days they had this theory that... Um, you throw a dog in, in, in the ring um, in order to uh, bait a bull, right? And they used in particular actually bulldogs rather than, than pit bull terriers. But in due time, what they what they ended up doing was uh, they had bans on, on bulls, on these dogs doing this to bulls in order uh, for them to be slaughtered and then for the meat to be sold. So once that came about, uh, the Pitbull Terrier, for example, they started like a new sport, which was uh, ratting. And they would just throw rats in a pit and see how many rats the actual Pitbull would be able to kill in, in so much time. And then people would bet over under, oh, he's going to kill 10 rats in a minute. Oh, no, it's going to be under that. It's going to be over that. That's, that's how that um, came about. So Pitbull Terrier heads that list. Uh, next up, uh, let me show you guys the, the next um, the next breed. The next breed is this, which you're looking at right now. And that right there, this right here, 
okay, is what the original nanny dog was being referred to as, right? Original nanny dog. And that's none other than the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. It says here the Staffordshire Bull Terrier or Staff is an older dog breed than many on the list. Staffies were bred for blood sports and may be traced back to the Bulldog. Staffies may reach a shoulder height of 16 inches. The range of weight is 30 to 38 pounds, real light. Uh, they should be strong, but still nimble. Uh, they shouldn't be so big that they struggle to move without looking almost comical. These are sturdy dogs with broad shoulders and powerful necks that complement the general appearance. The Staffy is a little dog with surprising power that is adored for its funny personality, smiles, and general looks. As they are terriers at heart, this breed can also be beneficial by keeping pests like rodents under control in addition to being fine house dogs. And that's uh, Staffy, all right? That's uh, your Staffy bull. And that's the one <clears throat> that's that's originally considered to be uh, the nanny dog. Okay, that's that's the actual nanny dog. Um, if anybody owns these dogs or you want to share something that I might have missed, uh, let us know. Uh, next up on this Hollywood. list uh, that I want to share with you guys. Oh, Hollywood's okay. Let me let me bring him in. What's up, Hollywood? Hey, I wanted to show people a better representation because it looked like they might have had a Staffordshire. Uh, the Staffy bull looks a little bit different. Okay. Okay, good deal. There you have it. That's 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 the Staffy Bull. Okay, good deal, man. I appreciate it. Uh, next up on this list, guys, uh, of of bully breeds, is this particular dog right here. Uh, don't know if you guys can tell me what it is, but I will tell you. This breed is the American Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So there's definitely. A difference right they still fall under the same line um, but there's definitely a reason that they're being called American Staffordshire Bull Terriers and the American Pitbull Terriers are distant relatives however they differ greatly in size and appearance so here's where the changes come in the former seems bigger and heavier yet shares the renowned loyalty of the American Pitbull Terrier the Staffy I'm sorry the Staffordshire Terrier Used in the breeding of these dogs were brought to the U.S. from England in the late 1800s. At the shoulder, American Staffordshire Bull Terriers stand around 19 inches tall. Typical weight around 75 pounds and their height, so they weigh a lot more. Remember, it said 40 to 60 pounds for uh, American Pitbull Terriers. And for uh, Staffy, Staffy Bulls, it said uh, 30 to 40, I believe, or 35 to 40. And their height and weight are proportional. They shouldn't seem lanky. Their physique should be athletic, strong, and stocky. White set, dark eyes, a full snout, a large head are characteristics of this breed. Their necks are quite robust, and their ears are perched high on their heads. There you go. There you go. That's the American Staffordshire Terrier. All right. And I, you know, to my, to my, surprise when I was looking at this list years ago uh, when people call a dog like this uh, bully breed in my mind initially right and I can see a lot of new people where where they're coming from uh, they're thinking that there's some sort of bulldog involved um, but the actual um, at least the, the definition that's given in this website is that they're terriers that they have terriers somewhere, which is crazy because you're gonna see later on in this list, there's some dogs that I truly doubt that they're terriers, right? But uh, we're, we're definitely gonna go through that. Hey, real quick, man, Salty uh, Right Boy 9282, man, number love, way to pay it forward, man. Uh, he's paying forward one gifted QBA kennel membership, bro. Nothing but love, man. We appreciate you uh, for what you just done, man. Uh, let, me, let me get Kyle up in here. What you got, Kyle? Oh, I was looking for the noise, man. Ah, the noise. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Uh, Steve O's asleep over there, man. That's that's what's going on, man. Nah, just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, I didn't ask for it, man. So it, it's all good, man. It's all good. Listen, guys, next up on this list of bully breeds. And if you notice, if you notice, you, you can see some of them here. Uh, next up on this list of bully breeds is none other than this dog. 
Can you tell me, can you tell me what breed this is? Does anybody know? Uh, real quick, let me, let me go ahead and show you guys what breed it is. And let's talk about it here real quick. Uh, this particular breed is the American Bulldog, which is crazy because when I first see this dog, it kind of resembles more of an English Bulldog to me, but it says a sturdy working uh, breed designed to be a farmer's right hand dog. The American Bulldog is still loved to this day. While it is consi considerably larger breed, it has a robust body and a massive blocky head similar to the pit bull. At the withers, American Bulldogs can reach heights of up to 28 inches, so they can be pretty tall. Depending on the sex, weighs range from between 75 to a whopping 125 pounds. The muscled build of this breed should nevertheless allow for fluid walk. Although the American Bulldog has thick bones and a strong physique, it shouldn't appear too rotund or heavy uh, like the more well-known English Bulldog. In the 1700s, the American Bulldog was developed in America using a combination of imported Bulldogs from England. Uh, the dog's breed was created to perform a variety of tasks on a property, including guarding, capturing, and herding. There you have it, man. Now, if I understand it correctly, and I am not an American Bulldog expert, but I do know that there's two types of American Bulldogs. There's the Johnson American Bulldog and there's the Scott American Bulldog. Hollywood, can you do me a... There you go. Which which of the two is this? Let me bring you in. Which of the two is this? Is this a Johnson or a Scott? That's the Scott. I'm That's fixing to pull up the Johnson. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so he'll he'll bring up the uh, the Johnson here in a second. I know one is is a lot more blockier than the other, uh, because one of the two is more athletic, and I believe obviously this one. Uh, if he's saying it's the Scott, it seems like the Scott is is more athletic. So let's give him a second, and uh, and he'll he'll go ahead and bring it up. Uh, do me a favor, take the picture down, uh, Kyle. Thank you. So yeah. Uh, that that particular breed of dog um wow made in america in the 1700s that's that's kind of news to me to be honest with you uh this next dog i'm sure a lot of you are going to be able to recognize it um i don't know if you can tell what it is but i know the minute i saw it i knew what it was and this particular breed is none other than the english bulldog Right, so this this American bulldog, right, was mixed with with English bulldog, which is this particular breed, and something else in order to get, you know, the American bulldog. But the English bulldog says the first bulldog was beloved English bulldog. The English bulldog is a large, courageous dog with a waddle that is reminiscent of a crab. These canines are strong and spirited, making them ideal for our outdoor activities. They have a huge head, a flattened forehead, undershot chops, in other words, underbite, and thick lips, uh, which are all char characteristics of the bulldog breed. English bulldogs have a sweet and silly temperament. I can attest to that. Despite their fearsome appearance, they are the kind of dogs who enjoy receiving affection uh, from and being around people. English bulldogs are watchdogs by nature and will always be prepared to defend their family. So invaders beware. Although these dogs are quite laid back, they do need frequent, walk frequent walks and exercise. Also, they require a strict diet because they are prone to certain health issues. Um, here you have it. Here you have it. This is uh, the English Bulldog. Does anybody out there own an English Bulldog? Hades, uh, Hades ECBK realized it immediately. Hey, Raul. Uh, what you got? What you got, Kyle? That's the Scott. I'm sorry. That's the Johnson. Yes, sir. Can you? Can you? Yeah. There you go. So this is the Scott American Bulldog. And can you switch it? And this is the Johnson American Bulldog. What I've noticed is the Johnson has a little bit shorter snout and they have more of a blocky looking versus the Scott who has more of a snipey snout. Right. And it's it, he seems to be more athletic. So if, yeah. if I had if I had it, okay, so if I had to choose, let's let's ask people out here to see what they say. But if you had to choose, bring back those pictures. If you had to choose between this the johnson and now show the scott 
Okay. Let's say you had a large property of say five acres. I mean, I know that's not big to some people, but five acres, which of these two would you use based on their uh, snouts to cover such a large span of land? Would it be this, the Scott who's got a shorter muzzle or this, the Johnson who's got a, a longer muzzle? Let me know down yeah, in the right. comments below. Yeah. Do me a favor. Take it down. Uh, let me finish up on the uh, English Bulldog. Uh, yeah, Joseph Garcia says uh, he, he would do the Scott line. Okay. And and uh, Buckrow would say would say Johnson. Okay. Let me uh, let me go ahead and um, let's bring up the next dog. So you guys, I mean, this, this, this is pretty interesting. I used to think originally when I heard of bully breeds and I knew nothing about them, I felt that they were called bully breeds because they had bulldog in them somewhere. Uh, the main definition again, that this website is giving is that no, uh, they, they have terriers somewhere. Uh, that's, that's what the main, um, that's, that's their main thing. So breed, uh, which I think several people, especially those of my age, and you were teenagers in the nineties, uh, more likely than not, you're, you're probably going to recognize this breed right here. It was a very popular dog, uh, that they used to use in beer commercials. I don't know if you remember spud mckenzie i'll never forget that um this particular breed let me let me go ahead and bring this up this particular breed is none other than the bull terriers right these large bone terriers are distinguished by their long nose and egg-shaped heads uh though they can be any color they are often white the bull terrier is an independent and stubborn breed that can be challenging for new dog owners. Yet with the right training, one might discover the charming nature that is that this breed possesses. In fact, early socialization will highlight the bull terrier's enduring characteristics since these dogs are spirited, active and friendly. These canines also have a consistent disposition. They are amenable to discipline and will take to strict instruction nicely. They are ideal for families, including those with small children. Because of this, these dogs need a lot of exercise since they were bred to work and they need early instruction and gain much from early socialization. So there you have it. That's a bull terrier. Um, do me a favor, Hollywood, uh, so we can show this. Uh, and we'll, we'll be stopping here. Uh, if you could come up with a picture of what the bull terrier looked like early on versus now, uh, they, I know for a fact that their egg shape that they're showing on the, on the muzzle, uh, that, that was never really there. And with time, it kind of just shows the evolution. It shows how breeds evolve. A lot of times, you know, I, I talk about American bullies evolving, right? Um, and, and this is true. But the American Bully is not the only dog that's, that's evolved. I mean, from German Shepherds to uh, dogs like these right here, uh, Bull Terriers, uh, they, they've all evolved uh, with time, with time. Uh, let me bring Hollywood in. You have something to say? No, I got you right here. Oh, okay. There you go. This is, this is what they look like when. Is there a year tied to this picture? 1915. 1915. Look at that. That was a bull terrier back in 1915. And yeah. this is a bull terrier now. So there's there's been, I mean, this dog looks even heavier. Forget forget about the, the snout for a minute. Just look at the body. He it looks like he's widened out. Uh the chest is protruding more. Look, look at the chest on this picture. You don't see it protruding out uh in front. Uh, but over here you can. Uh, it's quite interesting, uh, the changes that have actually, uh, happened with this particular breed. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Kyle. Go ahead and take that down for me, bro. Um, yes, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open it up for Q and a now. So if you are a member, uh, we're definitely going to be answering your questions. If you're not a member for as little as $5 a month, guys, uh, we could be interactive with you. We could be talking like this back and forth. Also, if you want a beanie or you want one of our hats, they're all black now, by the way. Um, just so you know, we do have the wheel. Uh, it, it is there for $25. You get to spin. 
uh, we got not just prizes as far as the hat or the beanie. Uh, we also have, um, we also have other prizes like gemstones and, you know, QBN merch and, and that sort of thing. So, and also new vet, of course. So if you guys want to spin, just let us know. We'll make that happen for you. Okay. Uh, let me just go ahead and bring the wheel so you guys can see what it looks like. Cause I know several of you have never seen us uh, do the wheel before. And this, this is essentially what it looks like. Okay. So let me open it up for Q and a, and uh, let's get, let's get into it here real quick, man. Uh, da, 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 thoroughbred greatest day, greatest dog in the world. Ah, he owns a bull terrier, thoroughbred bull terriers. Hey man, number love for you. By the way, guys, we didn't go through the entire list. Uh, Mind you, the new format that's being implemented by Kyle and Steve-O on this program is I got 15 to 20 minutes to give you information, and then we're just going to go Q&A, okay? Uh, straight up. Uh, let's see. Uh, but hey, the Raul, yeah. if, if they want more information and they're really interested, man, you never know. We could do a video on it if they really want, if that, this is what they like. Well, uh, yeah, uh, once we finish the live, I need you to drop comments on this video. Uh, also, real quick, guys, one thing I want to tell you, and you notice it came up when we were talking about the English Bulldog, their diet is very important. Now, we do know that the American Bully is a compound breed and that we do actually have a Bulldog in it now. It's been admitted uh, by Dave Wilson, the very person that started this breed. I say all that to tell you this. Uh, we use, this is the only multivitamin and joint support that we use with our dogs. We use it uh, because the multivitamin not only provides your dog health, but it allows for the consumption of the blue bottle, which is a new joint plus, which is going to give you glucosamine, conjoint, MSM, but not just that, it's going to give it to your dog in the right amounts, right? And it makes a world of difference, guys. Um, I mean, I've always referenced this particular picture because this is my boy Fireball. This is the same dog. These are the same genes throughout his lifespan. If you notice right here, he started showing east west down here. And right and I started supplementing him. Now I wasn't supplementing him with this, but I was including a lot of the stuff that they have here on my own without even knowing. If you notice. You notice from here to here, there is an improvement, okay? But he's still east-west, okay? We continued supplementing and look at the improvement. Look at where he's at now. Look at his feet. I mean, it's, it's as straight and as clean and correct as you're going to get. Now, mind you, there's components that come into play. So you need to have nutrition, the right nutrition. You need to have the right exercise and you need to have the, the, the right genes. Um, but it has been my experience that if any one of these three components fail you, like it failed me here, I was feeding nothing but kibble right here. Look at his feet. Same genes same genes but what i was feeding him affected him so if you're a kibble uh feeder or if you're feeding raw do yourself a favor go ahead and get yourself new vet and new joint plus this is our ordering code 513237 you cannot buy this in stores and you can't buy it without an order code so whether you like it or not you're gonna have to punch one in if you want to be able to check out so just wanted to give you that information let me let me get to the questions and let me start just hammering away here real quick man um in the early 2000s that was target's dog he's talking about bull terrier this is true um let me see and again i'm going through member questions first uh you have to socialize very early he's talking about bull terriers uh they was taller and slimmer had a pit head yeah you, you notice that the snout actually changed um in its evolution that is uh christopher hines says that because of inbreeding, more than likely he's referring to the changes. Um, Thoroughbred says it was different than a pit head. It was actually slimmer. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone from Mike Hennigan, man. What's going on, Mike? Number love for you, bro. Uh, Salty right boy, 9282. By the way, uh, Mike, uh, I'm glad you received the new vet. Thanks for the heads up, man. We're all good. Okay. Got you. Furman says, seems like the all the bull breeds these days are very rare to even see. I, I agree with you on that. Salty says, uh, I look forward to my Sunday morning bully fam and education. Huge shout out to Raul 
and QB and K for giving us a place to gather. Absolutely, man. Pues claro que sí, cabrón. Oh, we got ourselves a new member. Man, look at that. Um, what was that for? Uh, who, who did that? Steve-O, I'm bringing you on. What was that for? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I still can't hear you. I'm muted. Here we go. Okay. What you got? You guys you guys were saying you didn't hear the jingle before, so I dropped it on this one. Wow. You, you talk about coming out of left Three months. Field. All right. All right, <laughs> man. I'm going to push you back over there. Man, talk about coming out from left field, man. Uh, oh, all right. All right. Steve-O, man. He, I'm going to call you uh, Tape Delay. Instead of live, this Sunday Bully Live, but Steve-O's Tape Delay. <laughs> he, he, hits, he hits the button. 10 minutes after. All right, man. Number love for you, bro. Uh, yeah, 96 target dog. Uh, yeah, target used him as well. Yes, sir. Um, man, you kind of threw me off there, Steve-O. Uh, Furman says he wants those beanies. Hey, man, you can spin. You can get it, man. It's that simple. Um, all right. We're, we're here. All right. Uh, Angela Birch, what do you think was added to create that egg-shaped head on the bull terrier? Um, you know... Miss Angela, more likely than not, somebody made an earlier comment that it was due to inbreeding. More likely than not, nothing was added. More likely than not, they started inbreeding. And then all of a sudden, you had one dog that had this mutation where, you know, you had a little bit of that. You keep inbreeding that. Next thing you know, I, and again, I'm just guessing. I am not an expert. I am not an expert in that particular uh, dog breed. Um, again, we're just talking about bully breeds. Um, Craig Campbell says, please do a video. All right, man. We'll definitely take that into consideration. Uh, v Bully says, broom, most deaf, bro. I've seen a bull terrier maybe twice in person in my 30s. Man, you know, I got to agree with you guys. I've only seen a bull terrier a handful of times. Uh, I don't think even a handful of times. Maybe once or twice in my life. Um, that's a good point. Um, that's coming from the ancestors. In May, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I wish somebody would chime in. And Saratha says, uh, there's a nice bull terrier in my neighborhood. I see him walking and talk to his owner. Okay, good deal. Uh, their heads transform from selective breeding. This is what I'm saying. So you inbreed. Next thing you know, you have this particular trait. You keep hitting that, keep hitting that. You can line breed from it. And next thing you know, before you know it, um, you know, you, you, you're making that a particular a tribute to that breed. A1 Bully says, yeah, man, I never seen one in person in my life. Only one, only on next Friday. Ah, uh, good morning, y'all. Better late than there. You got it. Uh, Salty says, always love the Dogo Argentino. Guys, I only got about a minute and a half. Dogo Argentino, great drive. Natural Guardians need a fairly solid handler. Yeah, go ahead, Hollywood. We got Mike Hennigan wanting to spin before we leave. Yep, I seen it, man. I'm gonna bring it up right now. All right, Mike Hennigan, real quick, bro. Let's 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 get let's get your spin in. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Let's bring it up here. I might have to push this episode for an extra five minutes, guys, because we just we're just short on time. Mike Hennigan, here you go, man. If you're trying to get a beanie or you're trying to get a hat, okay. Um, before I even do that, let me just say on the spinner, we also have this particular sponsor. So basically, you get $100 if you fall on Montana Gems. You get $100 and you get to spend it on their shop, okay? Uh, and also, if you're trying to get a hat, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that if it falls on New Vet Lab, okay? New Vet Lab, this blue one over here, um, if it falls on there, then you can opt to either get New Vet, get a hat, or get a beanie. So here's your spin, Mike Hennigan. All right, blue new vet, blue new vet, blue new vet. Oh, you almost got a Montana Jams, bro. Good try, man. Good try, guy. Hey, that, that was good. You got close, man. But you know what they say, man? Close, but no cigar. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, 
I read that there are no real pit bulls. Is that true? Hello from Germany. I'm not sure, man. I'm not a pit bull uh, aficionado. I'm not, it's not my breed of choice. Like for me personally, terriers is not my breed of choice. Uh, but, you know, I don't have an answer. Hopefully somebody can answer on that one. Uh, Jax thinks, Jack, new vet not available in the Netherlands. I'm sorry, guys. Only available in the U.S. and Canada. Thoroughbred says, we are very selective on who gets our dogs. They're not for everybody. Good point. D. Taylor's asking how much for a spin today. Kyle's letting him know, 25. Um, can you do a quick video on Pure Balance Wild and, and free y'all get me uh, rolling, steve -O? Uh, salty. I, I'm, I'm, when I do a food review video, it's what I find that day, man. Uh, I've had so many requests. It, it literally, I would have to make a four and a half hour video to cover everybody's uh request on that one in particular, my friend. Um, Beth says, Dogos fall under the bully breed umbrella. Most short coated, thick, blocky head breeds are deemed bull breeds. Good point, Ms. Beth. Stacy Kyle, which breed do you think has been most influential in establishing the American Bully, especially in size and head? Woo! Well, uh, from what I understand, everything started out with a with a pit, a pit bull and a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. I'm sorry. I'm not sure if it was Staffordshire Bull Terrier or Staffy. Uh, let me bring Kyle. He, he just said it. What was it? It's the American Staffordshire Terrier with the American Pitbull Terrier. Okay, that, that's what it was. Okay, my bad. Uh, I'm running. I'm running. For some reason, I wasn't able to remember off the top of my head. And ever since then, uh, we do know that the American Bulldog has been uh, brought in. So I would say probably the American Bulldog gives it more of that, what we refer to as a bullier look. Um, but again, um, extreme high prey drive. Okay. Okay, got you. Mike Hennigan said red. Uh, How's the blue, man? You already know. Uh, I'm trying to answer questions here as fast as I can. 30 minutes isn't long enough. Need to do at least 45 minutes. Not happening, man. I, I've already been told by the producers. Not going to happen. Guys, there's always a method to the madness. I said, Feliciano, what's going on? Why the live so short now? Y'all playing with my feelings. Is it because interactions everyone shares? Like the comment, please. Yeah. If you guys start giving us 100 shares, then we'll make this longer. And it's it's unfortunate. I don't want it to be that way. But it almost, it almost seems like we get uh, a dispor dispor blah, uh, more viewers than we have likes and shares. So, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we have to adjust in order for the algorithm to push our content out. So if you guys are not liking and sharing, then we got to shorten this up more and more. Uh, that's basically what it comes down to. Um, and so the, yeah, the lives have been too short. I hear you, man, but I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to drop more, uh, lives and also drop more content within those lives. Uh, Isaiah says, and no more Fridays. Y'all better start showing love. We need this man. Actually, I showed, uh, this past Friday. So we did drop a live this past Friday. Handsome G, love your videos. Uh, you got a new sub. All right, man. I appreciate it. Number love for you, man. All right, real quick. Let me bring my guy, Mark Davis, from the back. Mark, what you got for us this week, Mark? Hey, Raul. And everyone else. I wasn't sure whether I was getting here today. Um, so you sent me this picture, and I want to go ahead and publish it. And I want okay. people. Yeah, this is the question you had. Basically, what is this, right? Is this what you were asking? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is pyoderm, uh, pyoderma or pyoderm. And all it is, 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 you know, pyo means pus and derm means skin. And when you get this situation, um, what do you, what, what it usually, uh, the reason it started out is because there was either the dog either scratched himself, there was a splinter that went in there. Somehow the skin broke. When that skin breaks, there's actually bacteria on the dog's skin, right? A very common bacteria is Staphylococcus aureus and migrated to that area and it colonized. And now look what you got going on there. More likely than not, you need to take the dog to the vet. And more likely than not, they're probably going to give you an antibiotic ointment. Oh, they're probably going to swab it first so they know what it is. They're probably going to give you antibiotic ointment and antibiotics for it. What else you got, Mark? 
See, on the topic of uh, how my, what I read was how the American bully was made and what the uh, genetic makeup of them were. So my question for you was, um, because I've heard a few rumours, so how was the Troy introduced into the American bully from which breed? How was the what? Troy, the Troy colour. Oh, the tricolor man nobody knows bro some people say it came from rottweilers uh that's what i this, heard this, this is a good question that 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 should be answered uh yeah. you know by it, it would be answered if you had registries that would require dna testing then we could actually trace it back but because they're not requiring it it, it becomes a little bit more complicated um again i can't answer that because there there is no one answer for it man Okay, I'll probably put you on the spot there. No, no worries. It, it is what it is. But listen, we're out of time, man. We're out of time. So what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you guys drop questions below. I'm going to answer the first 25 questions below on this video. Uh, so even though we're not live, if you still ask the questions, I'm going to be able to answer twenty the first 25 member questions that are asked. Okay, let me bring my guys from the back. And uh, we're going to start it out with Steve-O. Let's, let's all unmute our mics. There we go. Go ahead, Steve-O. You already know, fam. The platform where you come to raise your game and stay in your lane. Catching you on the next one. Mark Davis. I don't want to hear QBNN, Mark Davis. <laughs> go ahead. Mark Davis, Orange Bully TV. Uh, representing Ireland with QBNK. Ah, in the there house. you go. Hollywood. It's your boy, Hollywood Holland, your boy in the back of the queue, and we're catching you on the next one. All right. Listen, guys, you already know this is Raul from the queue. Uh, for members that so you're getting used to our platform now, go ahead and drop questions below. We're going to be answering them for you. This has been Raul from the queue, catching you on the next one. Ooh.